Cobb County Democrats are hoping to cement their place as a key part of Georgia's blue wave by turning out voters for the state Senate runoffs. Earlier today, Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger ordered an audit of absentee ballot signatures in Cobb County. The unprecedented move comes in response to a specific allegation of improper signature veri verification during the June primary. The audit will involve ballot envelopes from the primary and the general election. It will not change the vote count. In a statement, Republican Governor Brian Kemp praised the move, calling it a, quote, necessary step to begin restoring confidence in our state's election processes. It is absolutely vital for every vote cast to be legal and for only legal votes to be counted. Governor Kemp and Secretary Raffensperger have both been targeted by President Trump in his bid to overturn the state's election results. Jacqueline Betadapur is chairwoman of the Cobb County Democratic Party, and she joins me now from Cobb County. Jacqueline, thank you very much for being with us. So signatures on absentee ballots were already verified during the original recount, and Cobb County elections officials say they are already stretched thin with the runoffs. What do you make of the decision to perform this audit? Uh, I think Raffensperger has been under a lot of pressure um, to... Uh, Make, sh make sure that the, the vote count and that this election um, was done with fairness and transparency. He's been under a lot of pressure from the Republicans. So um, I think uh, this is, again, probably a last-ditch effort uh, to find some sort of irregularity uh, going back way to the primary, June 9th. And if we go back and look at what happened around June 9th, uh, we were dealing with COVID, a surge in COVID. Uh, the presidential election had been postponed, the primary election had been postponed and combined with our general election here in Georgia. And uh, it was um, just an incredible uh, time of crisis in handling these elections. Now, I can say that our election superintendent, Janine Evler, is um, extremely competent, um, a very good administrator of our election system. And from what we've seen um, since June, or even around June and on into November, is um, she has handled the onslaught of absentee ballots, um, early voting, uh, with a high measure of competence and security. Uh, Jacqueline, I want to talk to you more broadly. Uh, for some of our viewers who may not be familiar with Cobb County, talk to us a bit about the role Cobb County plays in this blue trend that we have been seeing in Georgia's suburbs in particular. So Cobb County is uh, a metro Atlanta county. It's one of 10 counties. It is the third largest and we have been seeing a, an uptick in Democratic voting for several cycles now. Um, Barack Obama uh, won, uh, of those 10 counties, Barack Obama in 2012 won five of those counties. Um, going into 2016, Hillary Clinton won eight of those counties. Going into 2018, Stacey Abrams won those same eight counties by even higher margins. So here in Cobb County, we saw Hillary Clinton win by two points. Uh, we saw Stacey Abrams win by nine points. And now we've seen Joe Biden win by 14 points in this county. So one of the reasons Joe Biden won the state of Georgia um, was because he did really well in the metro Atlanta area. And Cobb County was one of those counties that contributed to his victory with uh, 50, a 57,000 vote margin. Well, let's talk about voter mobilization efforts. What are Cobb County Democrats going to be doing differently in these runoff races? And what do you make of the county's decision to shutter some of the early voting locations? So this um, election is, it's not a continuation of what happened in November. It's a complete reset. Um, it'll have a different character. It'll have lower turnout, uh, most likely. We always see lower turnouts in uh, runoff elections and in special elections. Uh, so we are um, primarily interested in just turning out any Democrat who voted in November. That's our target uh, audience, um, expecting that we will have closer to 50 percent turnout than the 70 percent turnout we had overall in November. Uh, the closing of early voting sites um, is sort of a two steps forward, one step back story. 
Cobb County um, has, we have been advocating for many cycles for Cobb County to expand early vote capacity to no avail. And um, they used to, they would only have one site open for two weeks, and then they would open up four additional sites uh, in the third week. Uh, so with the general election, because of the fiasco of the June 9th primary and because of ongoing COVID concerns, um, they did elect to open uh, expand significantly early vote capacity. So they made it easier for us to vote uh, early vote, and they made it er easier for people to vote through absentee balloting, placing 16 absentee ballot drop boxes in the county. And the result of them making it easier for people to vote was Democrats won. Uh, cause and effect, I don't know. I mean, we've been seeing these trends for a long time now. But um, so we view them cutting back on early vote sites as sort of a, a play to um, reestablish that Republican margin um, and to um, reestablish some sort of uh, Republican victory in the county. Um, the excuse that was put forth was that they had trouble staffing uh, more early vote sites. Yet when there was public uproar um, and it hit the national media, somehow they managed to find it uh, within themselves to staff two additional uh, early vote sites and then change the location of a few more early vote sites. Uh, you know, and very quickly before we let you go, uh, Jacqueline, what do you think the winning message for Democrats in Cobb County is? Is it keeping the focus on local issues or is it about focusing on the national consequences of these runoff races? Um, it is um, a combination of both. I mean, we are coming off a victory here in the county. We had a Democratic sweep of countywide office. Our county has been changing for many years. The demographic makeup is different. We're dealing with transportation issues, regional transportation issues, um, equities in our school system. Uh, we have a growing electorate of uh, black, black voters, black and brown voters. Um, and so racial justice and social justice all come into play here in Cobb County. And Democrats know that uh, Dem the Democratic platform carries the message or carries the policy they need uh, to see progress on all those fronts. Um, they know that uh, there was um, there's that we need control of the Senate as well on the national level to help drive that conversation from the top. But we're really looking forward to driving it from the bottom as well. Um, now that we have uh, a majority position in our local government. All right, Jacqueline Betta Depor, chairwoman of the Cobb County, Georgia Democratic Party. Jacqueline, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.